Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I think I'm going to do something different for me. Um, I'm going to be doing a challenge from um, Roxy Creations. So she has done, um, she has started a weekly challenge that she hopes to last throughout the year. Um, and every Monday she's going to uh, introduce a new prompt. So it's a 45 minute challenge and I'm going to go ahead and start the timer and talk at the same time um, because it's a 45 minute challenge and my videos aren't normally that long. So I'm going to go ahead and start the timer now and kind of explain what's going on. Okay, so it's started. Anyway, so what's happening is um, we're doing, or she's doing a 45 minute tag challenge. And the very first week, uh, week one, was um, the prompt was old book page and um, rice paper or vellum. And so I figured I would take the old book page and I went ahead and I backed it. I haven't cut it out, obviously. But I went ahead and backed it onto some coffee dyed paper because some of the book page is a little brittle, like these pages specifically, they're pretty brittle. Um, but this one came from this book here, and this is from 1890. And then I've also got some from this little teeny tiny guy, and I don't know what the date on this is. There is not a date, um, but they're instructions and prayers. So it's not a Bible, but it is like, it has prayers in here. So I thought that was really cute, especially for like a prayer journal. I thought that would be really cute. So anyway, um, those are my old book pages and I am going to need my trimmer in a minute. Um, and I also have my rice paper stickers out here and not those, those are plastic, but the concept is the same. The point is for the book page to really show through, which is why she picked rice paper and vellum. Um, so here is the rice paper or transparent stickers. There's some more transparent stickers. Um, and you're not limited to only rice paper and vellum, to my understanding. Um, I think it's just like any other prompt. It's just to get you started, and that's where you start. Like, you start with old book page, and you start with vellum and um, rice paper. So I did pull out some rice paper sheets. So I've got a couple from Chow Bella. And I've got a couple from Stamperia as well. I'm going to go ahead and open these. Because I'm going to actually use the whole sheet. And I'll explain that in a minute. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys, but I am really excited. Um, I was able to secure my wholesale account through Stamperia. And so I am super, super excited. Do you know how much money I spend on these rice papers alone? <laughs> uh, and they're really not bad because they're only like two or three dollars a piece. But I, I, you know, I buy it from other people. And because I have my own business and my own website, I was able to secure um, my wholesaling account, which I am super, super stoked for. Um, I can't wait to start stocking the shop with Stamperia. I love Stamperia. It's one of my favorite brands to go to because their design aesthetic is just, it's so appealing. It's so appealing and just beautiful. Okay. So, and the goal here is to see how many tags you can get done in 45 minutes. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take each sheet and I'm going to cover it and then cover 
the sheet with the rice paper. And what that's going to do is I'm still going to have some rice paper left over, but what that's going to do is any scraps from the paper that I have are going to have this rice paper on it, which is going to be really, really cool in theory. I don't know how well it's actually going to work out, but uh, one of these I have to cut before I put the rice paper down because I did it like upside down because I don't know why, but I did. Okay, so I'm going to do this in sections and I'm going to go ahead and glue down. I did get another mat. I will share with you guys my haul. Um, not today. I will probably do that in tomorrow's video. Um, but I did go to Dollar Tree because I was looking for something very specific and I did find it. Um, I really want these flowers, but I really want this lace too. All right, so we're going to go this route here. Okay. My nose always itches, I swear. If it's not my super dry skin, it's my allergies acting up. Anyway, um, so I found... Where did I see this? I think it was Instagram. And because I've been doing a lot of Instagramming lately, um, which is so crazy. I have so many social media platforms. Oh my gosh. It is absolutely insane in the membrane. Okay. So this is actually a very busy rice paper. And I think the whole point is to kind of pull that book page forward. So I'm going to swap glues midstream here. I'm going to go with some parchment paper here because I'm going to go super wet. And hopefully this will work better. Hopefully. All right. By the way, Michelle Scott told me about the chapstick on the rim. I use Vaseline, same concept. Oh my God, it is amazing. So if you have not already figured that out, please thank her uh, because wowzers, that's just awesome sauce. Okay. So anyway, the point of this challenge is to see how many you can absolutely finish. So this is going to be a very big challenge because I need to get as many done as possible. And then hopefully they can dry so I can chomp them up. Because if they don't, we're going to be in a world of hurt. Yeah, see, that's a lot better. That pulls through a lot better. And then I'm just going to go back over top, which probably isn't entirely necessary, but but I don't know if you can see the difference, but yeah, it definitely has a very big difference between the or at least I think there's a big difference I don't know we'll see all right so I'm gonna set that down hopefully that will dry <laughs> maybe all right so here's the next page and I think I'm gonna change tactics a little bit because I really want I the whole point of this is to let this the, this is the one that I have to cut in half. The whole point of this is to really let the book page show. So I'm not sure. All right. Okay, so let's do... really want to do her. 
She's really pretty. All right, let's try this again, straight from the beginning. We're just gonna do the whole caboodle, kitten caboodle. Maybe if I get it super wet, it'll take five hours to dry. <laughs> but it will hopefully push that book paper through the rice paper. Otherwise, I'm going to change tactics again, and we're just going to go to the vellum stickers. Um, I don't think I have any um, vellum printed. I don't think. Okay, that's not too bad. You can actually still see the, the print through there. Um, but I really think this is not working. So let's try something different. So who would have thought we would do trial and error while we're trying to complete this challenge? Let go. Alright, I need uh, water. Ooh, I wonder if this will work. This is different. This is some Holtz paper. Mario. They're so wet. I just made a mess. <laughs> Alright. So I actually won this uh, as a prize um, on one of the live sales that I went to. And it's, I've never used it before. Like, I've never used this particular roll. This is the first time I'm using this roll. And I've never used this product. So I don't know what's going to happen here. But we're going to try it out and see what happens. Come here. All right, so I happen to have a lot of these. Because <laughs> my napkin glue book is behind me. Which I need to do more of. And y'all seem to really like that. So, oh, that is so much better. Way more better. Way, way more better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. That's pretty. Okay, yeah, that is definitely, definitely better. All right, so I'm going to do this one on the bottom here. And we're going to cut this off. But we're going to do the bottom on the top. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense or not. No idea. Okay, so I definitely like the Tim Holtz. Um, it's not rice paper. It is decoupage paper. And decoupage paper and rice paper have a very different feel and texture to them. Um, decoupage paper is just really, really, really thin paper. Um, but rice paper is a structure of paper. Uh, there's a structure of fibers within rice paper. It's pretty cool, actually, if you look at it. Um, where? All right. Oh, wait. I need this to oh, no. go over here. And you not be over there. And you, not me over there. All right. 
at least it's not too fragile because that would be bad i've done beat it up and touched it quite a few times all right let's go with right there yeah, it's not very fragile at all which is really good because uh <laughs> I am beating this up. All right. And now we're going to flip it over and do it at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll go back to see what we've got for our drying papers. Hopefully they are somewhat dry-ish. So we can actually do something. Mm -hmm. All right, hold up. Yep. Hold up. Yep. And Like I said, it's not very fragile, which is really nice. It's more like, uh, what this feels like is more like tissue paper. Like, not napkin paper. Tissue paper. Like, you know, gift wrap tissue paper. That's what this feels like. Doesn't seem to be too much on the roll, though. I mean, there's plenty left. But you see how much of it is gone. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to invest in more. Because that's pretty cool. Um, Where's my lid? Well. Oh. Behind my glow. Alright. So. We've got about 28 minutes left. And... So far, we've made zero tags. <laughs> Wait. All right. Urgh, I need to Vaseline my water bottle. Bloop. Now watch me throw that all over my desk. That would be bad. All right. So I'm going to grab my Fabri-Tac here. Go with that for now. All right. It's not bad. It dries pretty quick. All right, so let's get our cutter and put you over here and let's make some tag shapes. All right. So I want to make this one five inches. Actually, I'm pretty sure all of these are going to be five inches. Okay. Or at least the bigger ones. Okay. That's pretty cool, though. I like the, um, the paper. It's got an interesting feel to it. Oh, my gosh. I think I just had an epiphany. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's see. How big are you? You're eight and a half. Let's cut you a little bit. Let's make you... Let's make you throw my glue all over the place. I'm just throwing everything tonight, man. Make you seven inches. How about that? That's good. Okay. That in the trash. Put that in the scraps. And there we go. All right. The next one is this one. The one we just did. And I'm just going to cut the top off here. That'll go in the scrap pile. Thank you. 
Alright. Alright. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit of a wider tag. It was a double spread on the book page. But I do still want to make it into a tag, like an actual tag, not a, a card. Which, I mean, it could be a card, but that's not what the challenge is. The challenge is to make tags. So. Let's make some tags. Thanks. All right, so if you guys want to participate in this particular challenge, I highly, highly encourage it. Um, it's a lot of fun, and it definitely will um, kind of put you out of your comfort zone a little bit. Because I was thinking to myself, oh, yeah, rice, paper, and melon, that wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, well, the thing is, is that the old book page really has to shine through and i mean it doesn't have to that's one really great thing about miss roxy's um you know challenges is they're not like super duper strict and you know like nobody's gonna come and get you because you didn't follow the rules exactly you know um but they're pretty easy to look at and follow anyway all right so let's make you five inches oh let's pull you from the other side i want to keep her head her antlers as much as possible okay i'm gonna make you five inches okay. and then Make you seven and a half inches tall. So these are going to be tall tags because I've I've run into like small tags a lot, but um, I've see this one's really not as bad as I originally thought. That's actually really cool. Anyway, um, normally whenever I make tags, I make smaller tags. But I don't normally make ginormous tags. I'm going to give it just enough room to trim off here. So anyway, yeah, I normally don't make really big tag bases, and although I'm not really making bases right now, I am um, making tags, so I figured we would go a little bit different than my normal small tags, you know? You know what I mean, Jelly And don't forget to keep all these scraps that you're cutting because they've got your rice paper on them. It's kind of like the same concept as our napkin glue book, um, but it's loose and they're rice paper. So I'm just going to put all of this in my little scrap bucket here and we're going to have a play with that. Not today. Um, Oh my gosh, I have been definitely watching Miss Gale a lot. Have a play with that. That is something she is very, very accustomed to saying. Um, all right. Now, what's really great about this is you can now take this whole kit and caboodle here. If you like that tag, you can take this whole thing and because we've cut them primarily the same. So we're just going to take it up here. We're going to cut this loop and then this. Oh, my ears are ringing. 
hear the ringing. See? Take this one. Cut this one. And this one. Oop. And then this one. And this one. And then we've got the little guys here. So we can do it, kind of make it like this. Kind of make an interesting little tag there. And... So yeah, I will definitely um, find her original video and link that for you guys in the chat. Um, I really, really, really suggest going and taking a look because um, she really is just such a lovely person to watch. And she's so creative and very inspiring just watching her, you know. I'm very down to earth, very chill and relaxed, which I love. I love just watching, you know, people that are very real and chillaxed and, you know, cool, calm and collected. This, oh, wait. oh, another thing you could do, too, is if you wanted to, you could kind of fold it in half and cut like that. And there you go. They're even. So, it depends on how thick your, your base is. I mean, mine aren't too terribly bad. Uh, my, mine aren't too terribly thick because um, I'm using really old book page, like over 100 years old, in addition to um, just regular coffee dyed paper. All right. So, I've got a couple buttons here. That I figured might be fun to play with. Um, we've got some butterfly washi that might be fun. Oh, and it's rice paper because that's like actual washi. I'm pretty sure that came from Japan. Um, ooh, we've got some nice ribbon here. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Try to figure out what I want to do with it. Um, oh, that might work too. I go it like that. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we're gonna have to move our scraps so. though. Grab our hot glue gun here. Right there. Ah, yeah, that's a little warm. You definitely wouldn't have to put anything right there. Like if you didn't want to put anything there until after you already, you know, know where it's going. I think that's a fine idea. I like that. It's really nice. 
and like I said, it's not like super duper thick, but it is sturdy. It's not going to go anywhere and you can write on the back, obviously. Um, oh, that's nice. Add like a little, so at least we're going to have one done. <laughs> oh gosh. Add like a little greenery there. I like that. You see that? I forget that my camera is like right here. It's not way up there. Um, this camera is actually higher up than that one. So it's like right beside it. All right, let's do one of these big ones. Um, Let's see. This is a really pretty little cluster. Look at that. That's pretty perfect. Right. Got that nice little pink going on. And I, I like just the ever slightest little hint of black there. Um... Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I have. No. Oh, oh, there's a paper clip. Oh, that's cute. I forgot I had added a couple of these to this little bag. So this little bag is just a um my freebie bag. Whenever I make some extra things I throw them in there All right. oh I like that a lot It's kind of the same color. You know, I don't know if I want to do anything else to this. Because that rice paper is just so pretty. Here, let's add some lace down here at the bottom. And I'm just kind of digging through my little jar of randomness. Another piece of lace. Now this is stuck to my fingers. And the great thing about tags is you can really build them up because they don't have to be um, permanent in your book or a journal or your planner because tags can be taken in and out at will so that's one thing I love about the tags all right so add a little button over here I like that Kind of like the imperfection of the other side, this side here, because it's got like a divot. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. There's like a little divot right there. I like that. Um, oh no. All right, let's leave that alone for a minute. Let that dry. All right, so we've got another little piece of lace here.
And it's pretty perfect. I know it seems like I planned that out, but I did not. I've got a bunch of these little pieces like this because I use them to make my clusters. Like I'll take a scrap piece of lace that like I've sold all of except for a little tiny bit. And I'll just start cutting it in weird increments or even increments or, you know, not at all increments and just, you know, whatevs. Um, where is my... There it is. Oh, and I figured out how to get fiber tack out of your fingers or off your fingers rather. It is like the bane to the people that don't like having glue on their fingers. Fiber tack is like craziness. I don't know why, but I really like the polka dots. <laughs> like, how crazy is that? I kind of like the white better, though. Let's do the white instead. All right. And do the dark brown. I like the dark brown. All right. So, how do you get the fabric tack off your fingers? You might ask. Um, with the glue eraser. That's it. I'm gonna sit here and you know waste my last eight minutes. Okay, so we've got this one. We'll go over them in a minute. But I think we'll do this one. Oh, I can put two of these together. Kind of like that. Oh, then I cover up the birdie. I don't want to do that. What if I do it like that, though? Or I could just kind of cattywonk it. Is that a word? Daddy wonk. Ah, oh, I don't like that they've curled up so bad. And then... Actually, this one's pretty long. Oh, I don't want to cover up his face. <laughs> there are strings everywhere. Oh my gosh. But I mean, it's kind of like the glory of this because I'm literally just adding stuff down to make it look like kind of a nest, you know? My thing is like all squeaky squeaky. It's funny. All right. I wish y'all could see this. This, I mean, it looks really cool because it's like all nest-like because it's all craziness. All 
Ooh, that's cool. I like this other one better though. Because it's not as dark. And I'm going to put more than one there. And... And make it look all nest like. Bloop. Oh, I know. Let's see. Come here. Ow. Come here. We're going to put you over here. There we go. Do I have another piece of that in here somewhere? I did. Oh, look at that. I even have some of leaves and such. Oh, that is so cool. All right. So, a tiny little bit of glue there just to hold it down. And then... A little bit of glue in there. And then a tiny bit of glue at the top again to hold it all down. Oop, stay. Okay. Oh my gosh, between the Fabri-Tac and the hot glue and the fabric and the lace, I have strings everywhere. Like, <laughs> I have strings everywhere. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh man, that is really cool. I love that. That is really, really neat. I don't know if I can do another one in two minutes, two and a half minutes. All right. Do this. Actually, go down. A right. little bit of fabric left. Oh my gosh, you're so loud. It's a loud fabric tack. Kind of like messily put that on there. Got a little bit of pink here. And put that down with all of the... What are these things called? The uh, strings. The strings. All right, what else? Ooh, got another what piece of that. That would be cool. All right, we're gonna we're gonna glue a little bit there, kind of push it down real quick, and then fabric attack that part down. What else we got? What else we got in there? Anything good? I don't think so. Oh, there's a little tiny piece of lace. Let's go with you. Where can we put you? Well, let's put you right there and then stick a button on you. How about that? I like these buttons. I really like these buttons. Alright, can we find a big fat one? 
There we go. That's quitty quitty. All right. We've got 25 seconds left. All right. Out. That's warm. Oh, that's cool. All right. Wait. I don't have a finger that's going to work. And that would be my timer. Okay. So not too bad. Like we didn't do three of them. I was really worried that the glue not drying would stop us or me, stop me, but, and check this out. I used a lot of the little snip tidbit, whatever this thing is called, jar thingy. I don't know. I even brought this one out, but I figured I would play with this one, like this one, but I figured I would play with this one first because it had more other stuff in there. So anyway. But yeah, so like I said, um, it's uh, called Hashtag Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And it's it's a lot of fun. Like, I don't know if I did it right. <laughs> but I don't think I've done a challenge like this before. So I hope I did it right. Um, so we did, let's see. This was the night, or this, this was the 1890 um book and this had this is chow bella i believe no 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 no. this was the um tom holtz rice paper or decoupage paper um it's more like tissue paper so i don't know if that counts and then we did like a little cluster at the top and then this one this is probably my favorite because it looks like a bird's nest with all kinds of craziness in there. And we've got the two birds there hanging out. And then there's this one. Pretty simple, but elegant at the same time. Got the greenery going and then the wood from the button. These buttons are all wood, by the way. And then the pretty pink deer. I love this paper. I love this paper collection. I love everything about this paper. It is amazing. Um, and then the roses with the paper clip at the top oh and the little cluster of lace down here at the bottom oh and the cluster underneath the paper clip i forgot about that <laughs> so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you participate in the challenge um if you don't have old book page i'm sure that any book page will do i think it's just um the concept of book page and letting that book really be the focal point and um, some of these, like this one's a little hard to see the book page, but you can still see it back there. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. Hope I did it right. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Don't forget to check out her video and um, give it a try. Um, you can tag her by using the hashtag that's in the title of this video or the hashtag that is in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.